Hello, my name is Sky, and I'm watching Comic Con 2011 over in San Diego. And the whole idea of how people with franchises, ideas, comics especially, uh, they have these ongoing series, very neat, neat and unique properties and concepts of what they have. And Hollywood producers walk around and you know basically scoop them up, say, hey, we want to make yours into a show, we want to make yours into a movie. Um, and I want to get on that, but <laughs> so if there's any comic book company or even a production you know, company or producers or anybody who's interested in a new franchise, here's my take, my idea uh, that I call a gang of daggers. Now, uh, to start, I, I wrote the book and I tried selling it, but nobody was interested because well, the opening's a little slow, and that's because the way I write, the way I think is kind of as a movie. You know, I'm trying to be realistic in terms of what I'm having uh, the characters do and how the story's going to unfold, how everybody's introduced, you know, the audience and the characters themselves into the action, to the story. It's a little bit of plotting, uh, I, and that's my own fault. I'm, I'm such a nerd about, you know, uh, sword fights and shields. You know, I love 300, I love Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. You know, I just... I like seeing, uh, you know, the weapons they use. You know how they fight. How, you know, just these large in life characters just just have to throw themselves into battle to survive. Um, and while I was writing a, a Gang of Daggers, the idea of seeing it as a TV show kept popping in my mind. But as well as a comic book. And in fact, th I would love it if a comic book company would be interested, especially one that knows uh, inner city black culture. Uh, you know, life in the streets, you know, life in the, uh, and high school, that's really tough. So that would be, you know, one of the things that can happen, or it can happen on the side. Um, I could also see this as the story of a Gang of Daggers as a movie, a standalone uh, introduction, you know, into an already established Gang of Daggers. You know, the way I have it is the group of uh, students find the magical portal to another world, and they decide well, let's keep this a secret, and we'll just sneak between the worlds. After a while, they realize they're a little bit bored just sitting around, not doing anything, so they decide to become mercenaries. And as a result, they travel between the worlds. They form what I call a, an academy to train themselves and to train others to help them so they can do more missions and do more services and get more wealth and you know power as a result. So if there was going to be a movie... Uh, it would be one standalone, you know, it, from the perspective of a freshman coming in, uh, introduction to the various classes, the weapons they would use, and, uh, you know, brief introduction into the world, and just the amount, uh, you know, just the amount of violence that uh, they find themselves in. Uh, so, you know, action-packed, you know, sex, uh, fun, you know, kids being misbehaving, so, you know, a lot of fun stuff like that. Uh, if this was made into a television show, which I think would be the best, uh, my own personal take is I would literally say we're going to take over a high school. Or more to the point, uh, turn a high school into a high school of the arts. Uh, get a bunch of talented students there, you know, uh, who want to do art, music, dancing, you know, sports, whatever. Uh, and the ones that are interested in acting, uh, have them be part of the show. Um, and th I have a whole idea of how I would do that, because uh, something similar to professional wrestling, where we would create a fighting style using different weapons. We teach the students how you know, the actors how to use them. Teach the stunt guys how to use them. Uh, add in CGI effects later of you know dismemberment, blood, you know things like that. Uh, if you're a fan of Spartacus, Blood and Sand, 300, you know it's, I, I think there's a way we could do it that you know the fighting would be kind of uh, at a sort of one speed, and then you just use the cameras to speed it up a little bit so it makes it look more visceral, and that way the actors can react and whatnot. Um, so if you have a comic book and a television you know, show, you can have action figures. Uh, and on top of that, you can have an online uh, presence. for, uh, And that, I think, would be very interesting. Just, you know, you can have an online blog of the characters, uh, what they're doing, what they're getting involved in. Um, and on top of that, uh, the DVDs would be, uh, you know, for a movie or a television show, would be very interesting to see. Uh, and the idea I have for that is each main character in the show 
would be listed in each scene. And not all the scenes would be present on the television show. On the DVD releases, uh, you could basically say, I want to see the storyline of this character, or I want to see the storyline of that character. And all the scenes that have that character, you would see. So that way, you know, because the way I conceive of the television show is uh, the fights are an unknown. The outcome of a fight, who's going to win, who's going to die, who's going to get injured, uh, that's unknown. And as a result, death can happen to anybody at any time. Um, so there's that suspense for the audience, for the actors. You know, when, if somebody does die, you know, the actors have to react. They have to, you know, carry on. They like, or say like, wow, we we lost this guy, and they have to do things. Um, I, I could just I. If I was in the creative seat, creative chair directing this, I would have so much fun with the actors. They, they would be hating me because I'd just be throwing so many things at them. Um, and ultimately, because when I watch Comic-Con and I see these people dressing up and I see just how enthusiastic fans get for a, a good franchise, a good show, that they want to be involved, they want to do things, I would end up creating an alternate reality you know, game or summer camp uh, thing, something out, you know, in the woods that, you know, during the summertime, you know, people, you know, 14 and older can come out, uh, learn how to fight with weapons, and at the end of that camp, uh, we, st you know, stage and shoot some scenes with the actors from the show. The idea being that they, you know, when we need a bunch of extras to carry on something, these will, this will be where we get those guys. This is where the fan, you know, uh, just being a fan and learning, you know, sword fighting and exercising and, and just, you know, getting to the point where you want to become part of the program, you know, and even get a chance to get on the, the show, you know, here's your chance. Uh, I would love that. I mean, it's, any, in fact, anybody who knows the Ninja Warrior out of Japan, the way I'm going to train the actors, I would want them to feel that they could confidently go on Ninja Warrior and, you know, have a chance at winning. So... That's my idea of a whole franchise that I would create out of my idea of a Gang of Daggers. Uh, if anybody wants more information or if anybody's interested, please let me know. But right at this moment, um, I, I, I'm, I'm really interested in my idea. Well, of course, I created it, but I would love to share this idea with others. I would love to see it created. I'd love to see it on the page, on the screen, uh, for anybody to check out and enjoy. And I think that now, especially, audiences would love it. You know, it would deal with issues of violence, issues of health, issues of, of you know, the body and, and beauty and just how people relate to each other. It's not just a boys club. It's not just a bunch of white kids running around. It's everybody who's involved, who can participate and become a hero in their own way. Uh, you know, if this was to become a television show, you would see scrawny little freshman kids and four years later, these buff, you know, Spartan warriors, you know, gods of war, just you know, running around indiscriminately battling and winning. And that's what I want to see happen. So if you're interested, hey, get a hold of me.